Hey, what's good, fam? Today we back in the stew because the lookbook is out for Supreme. Low key, it's like 4 p.m. and it's been out for a little while. I'm finally getting around to doing it. I saw a couple pieces that I thought were fire. I haven't even looked through the whole thing yet because I wanted to see it with y'all. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more sneaker or streetwear content. We're so close to 20K. I think we need like 80 subscribers, which is crazy. Thank you all for supporting and with all that being said let's get straight to it so we've arrived at the lookbook honestly i'm not gonna start how i always do i'm gonna do this shit a little bit ass backwards because i'm not trying to spend a fucking eternity talking about the lookbook when y'all could literally go on supremenewyork.com and see what's going on i'm gonna start with the accessories bro off rip i can tell you that these accessories aren't too bad bro we got a supreme honda grom coming out this is a whole dirt bike so obviously retail is gonna be a little pricey on this one but it's one of those pieces that if you pick up, you'll probably never want to sell that shit. It looks fun as fuck to ride. Banger, bro. I wonder if it's street legal too. And I'm pretty sure this is like the big ticket item. Casina chair dropping, basically a little lawn chair. It says that it's going to come out in blue and red. This is some July 4th type shit. This shit look like it's going to have your ass hurting, bro. We got the Supreme sewing machine for all the designers out there. I feel like this is beautiful because it's something that a lot of people will actually put to good use. And it's not one of those items that you buy and just don't end up doing shit with momoko doll i don't know what the fuck is going on with this one it has a little box logo on it i'm good on the doll not gonna lie to y'all coffee maker is a banger bro if i could pick this up i for sure will i've low-key been trying to step away from the keurig and step into some better coffee vibes bro because that should be watered down this look like it produces some solid coffee you feel me radio cube almost looks like a big ass box but it's a radio apparently i think it's solid this is probably my favorite shit dropping in the accessories the dominoes bro bangers like i don't care when this drops it's a must cop for me i don't really care what retail is no bullshit this might sound absurd pay a hundred dollars for these dominoes they're looking beautiful they're aluminum too so durable and it's only right bro my dominican roots are calling me to buy these dominoes bro i'm gonna have to do it it's a mando cop the little beanie baby doll we solid on that it's kind of cool that they did a collab though some nail polish three different colors honestly the colors are a little bit ass don't ask why i know but we're gonna get past this they're dropping another rc car the rc car isn't that bad i like when they actually do that this gumball machine is not what i was expecting bro i feel like the one that they had on the mock-up is better than this simply because all the gumballs are white i feel like it doesn't have much vibrance or color to it also wonder what flavor these gumballs about to be i'm interested in seeing if you got to put a quarter in it to get the gum out that would actually be kind of cool it all depends on that retail if this is anywhere over 150 i think i'm straight on it this lantern coming out little japanese lanterns that you set off into the moonlight is dropping i feel like it's a clean piece is this something that's necessary hell no we got a little kettlebell dropping this one's actually 12 pounds which isn't too heavy but you can still get a solid workout in with it it's not gonna get you deezed or whatever but it's not bad you feel me supreme kettlebell i wonder if retail is gonna be high on this because kettlebells actually are expensive as weird as that sounds this has to be my favorite bro pillsbury cookie jar let me know if y'all fucking with the doughboy cookie jar we got some olive oil low-key mad random bro like who the fuck would have thought supreme is dropping olive oil you got a toolbox i do have a supreme toolbox so i don't know if i need this this is a solid looking toolbox and other times i'd probably throw my money at this for no reason the blue is not looking bad on this it's almost like a metallic blue we got a porcelain tea set y'all already know how the porcelain goes this shit could be either hella expensive or not i feel like it might be simply because porcelain does cost a pretty penny we got a shovel which low key those times are coming again and we might need a little shovel bro i don't know if i need a supreme shovel but it's looking kind of nice <laughs> hey i got a problem bro this is another clean accessory is basically when you go snow tubing on the little in thing you feel me a sled the fuck em sled is dropping this low-key the shit we saw kanye going down the hill in i think it's clean i'd probably just cop it in the black you got an alarm clock this shit is probably hella annoying and it looks small too because look at how they put the quarter there meaning that this is pretty small but i'm sure it's hella loud but i do not like alarms like bro alarms get them out of here they're actually dropping some glass mugs these come in a set of six which is way better than the plastic 
plastic shits that we saw previously, the little stackable joints. I think this is actually better, but knowing Supreme, these shits might be hella expensive for no apparent reason. They're dropping an inflatable snowman. If you got a little house with a front yard, you could set this up for the kids and shit. Oh shit, they're coming out with a watercolor set. If you into painting, got a little bit of some shit for you, bro. Is this light, they always drop a little light, an ashtray, the flash, so you could get super litty titty out here. Supreme Zippo isn't bad, bro. I used to collect Zippos. I don't know if I need this Zippo because I haven't even used the three that I have. They engraved the Supreme branding on it, which is a different type vibe on it. The Juice Mini Pack, again, this is one of those items that Supreme constantly drops, essential to some people. Like, I know a lot of people that actually use all their battery up, so this might be necessary. The Multi Tool, this one comes in two colors. Honestly, they always do something similar to this, so can't put it past them. It almost looks like it has a bunch of different utensils on it. These cotton towels that come in a set of two. I do like the way that it just has simple Supreme branding. There's some polka dots, not bad. This metallic belt could get up out of here. Shit comes in hella colors. Air freshener scent. We gonna see a lot of people have this shit on their cars. I'm not the type of person to hang some shit in the middle of the mirror. I feel like that's just annoying. There's a custom fragrance on this. I don't know what it's gonna smell like, bro, but if it ain't little trees, we don't want it. The gloves, bro, good on the gloves. We already spoke about the Paisley set that's gonna be coming out. I think it's decent. All oh, the flax force ones are coming back fire bro i might have to go for these whenever they do end up dropping I feel like you can't go wrong with the tim's force ones hard we got the white color and the black also dropping there's this glow in the dark supreme knife you already know i love collecting the supreme knife so this might be another one that i pick up in the collection probably pick up the glow in the dark color i don't know if the red one glows but if it does what color would it even glow in you got this elephant keychain straight on that slide keychain so basically you could take the little letters out and play with them something a little intriguing the don't fuck around pin gone's pin which this one looks a little a little sinister bro to say the least you about to get past that you got the broken heart shit box logo t skate deck literally self-explanatory trash skateboard which i kind of like but i kind of don't because it's literally a bunch of garbage but then you got the statue of liberty in the back you got a little supreme box logo it's hit or miss for me i'm not gonna lie i'm still debating if i do like the design or not let me know how y'all feeling about that one elephant joint i low-key like this one more than this so i'm not gonna lie this is actually clean it looks playful do i need another skateboard probably not it's clean though this should look crazy a little gremlin three king skate deck straight on that pillsbury one is clean but i don't know what it is about pillsbury and supreme but i think it looks clean slight bars let's get up out of there skateboard wheels don't need none of that let's get up out of here let's hop into the bags and see what's going on over here so let's start off with the book bag this one comes in four colors that metallic is a little steep for me the black and the olive are my favorites but i honestly think i'm asleep on these the large tote bag in the same four colors these days we need shit like this bro because in jersey they literally passed the no bag law or whatever the fuck so we gotta take whatever we bought in the store bare hand to the car type shit so i feel like this is something that's necessary literally to bring your groceries up to the crib you need something like this kind of am considering picking something like this up honestly this duffel does look kind of nice i like the black one and i also love that it has those two cargo compartments on the front of it because you could put a lot of shit in there whether it's my ps vita some chargers and shit like that for my laptop different things could use one of the sides as toiletry i like this one that metallic color gotta go though not gonna lie shoulder bag this season is actually clean bro it gives me that same vibe from the tan one that's so iconic i know y'all know what i'm talking about it has a supreme around the strap tan shoulder bag this gives me that same type beat bro it's nothing too extra nothing too over the top with some fishnet vibe around it it just has little supreme branding going across the whole shit i do like it in the black and the olive that red is clean but that metallic bro i don't know what it is about it i'm just not fucking with it same shit in the waist bag i don't know how i feel about this banana boat waist bag head ass i'm good on that there's the organizer pouch set basically you got three in one three different little pouches and you could use this for a multitude of things whether it's toiletry school supplies shit could use this for a lot and i feel like it's not bad do i need it am i gonna buy it not really bro but i think it looks clean though hey if there's a whole puffer book bag how is this even possible bro like do you need to reinflate this bitch like let me know in the comments bro we good on that side bag with that same puffy material i feel like the side bag is solid though the black and navy blue side bag aren't bad i don't know how i feel about the other colors those are my two favorites same shit on a pouch still loving that blue one or the black i just feel like
like it looks so clean. The last thing in the bags is this neck pouch. What are you supposed to put in this, bro? This looks like a pouch, bro. I'm gonna get up out of here. Literally looks like a tip sock. So we gonna get out of there as quick as we can. So we got the tees that are gonna be dropping week one, actually. We got the Andre 3000 tee. We spoke about this shit two days ago. Some of y'all were saying that this wasn't gonna be the tee. Well, here it is. It's confirmed, bro. We're gonna be getting this this week. Might be a must cop for me. Haven't decided yet. Trash tee, which is basically the same shit we saw on the skate deck. Statue of Liberty, Supreme trash bag. Not terrible. I don't know if it's a must cop for me just yet, but I need y'all to let me know what tees are y'all fucking with. This is the Wombat tee. I'm straight on this one. I don't want anything that says too much Supreme on it. Like that's not the type of vibe I'm on these days. Slap shot tee, which is almost like a Lakers vibe. Has like this motion type beat straight on that one this catwoman tee is probably my favorite i'm fucking with the playfulness almost gives me comic book vibes and hey it's catwoman bro you can't sleep on catwoman she bad so we're gonna have to pick this up and this cream color right here this is the perfect setup this is a must cop for me at least i'm gonna have to go for this on week one he got the little elephant tee i'm kind of fucking with this one bro he got the butters on he, son got the supreme fonties on with the yuttas and he got the neck List, bro. He ready to go, bro. He's on his Black Air Force activity. 100%. This might be a cop, bro. The warning tee, which I don't really see much on this. It says, pass it on others. Warn other people. No chip inside. What does that even mean, bro? Fuck that. Life on the top. Who's ready to get high? Jour de Vivri. Supreme tee. Like, I don't know what this means, but it's kind of cool. This brace one is looking crazy, bro. Like, we good on this braced face tee. That's pretty much it for the tees dropping week one. They cool nothing too special let's go through the hats real quick i'm not really gonna talk about these too much so i grabbed some of my favorite hats and i'm gonna talk about them real quick i didn't really want to talk about all of them because there's way too much shit to go over pigment dyed six panel s logo this one looks clean i don't know how i feel about that almost washed denim vibe to it my favorite color being that navy the gray or the black the minty is okay but i'm not really fucking with it too much we got the yankees kanji fitted y'all know i'm fucking with my fitteds i don't know how i'm feeling this one too much almost gives me 2006 fitted vibes when they were doing too much with them that's what this is looking like i don't know if i'll end up copping to be honest i fuck with the yankees we got the s logo fitted with the fucking devil horns on the s like why is that necessary bro the brown color is clean far as green is clean you got a couple decent colorways but honestly i could have gone without the little horns on it like so fucking pointless we got the money box logo fitted i think this is a cop we all about that money bro far as green beautiful that almost Almost washed gold color fire i like the blue on this one pretty solid i just wouldn't get the white y'all know how i feel about that shit we got the catwoman beanie that tan color beautiful you got the blue and then the black as my next runner ups i think the logo looks a little bit weird with the blue kind of would stick away from these two there's the box logo beanies this is probably a reference of what's gonna be on the top that we're gonna see my favorite colors out of here have to be that forest green fucking with the brown you already know the vibes burgundy ish colors is nice and i do like the blue too probably gonna be going for the beanie too but i'm more excited to see what the other piece is gonna be looking like loose gauge beanie they do this every season and i feel like i had to add it on here it's a staple from supreme i'm fucking with that tan color or the black even the gray too more than anything we do got two balaclavas the let's go robin mask right here good on that and then we do have this one which i actually have one that brown color is looking fire and i'm fucking with the all black too so we got the elephant hooded sweatshirt y'all already know how i'm feeling about og elephant over here your man's got the yuttas on like that's all you need to see but this one comes in three colors i think the black is probably my favorite on this one this hoodie's a little bit too plain for me i don't really see me buying anything like this almost like this hockey jersey hoodie shit ass bro and then you got hella start now nah, we got on a tag hooded sweatshirt i'm a sucker for some tag and i feel like this is clean bro maybe i'm just stuck in my ways but i'm fucking with the tag bro that maroon color i don't have any hoodies in that color so i think it's fire i don't know if on release day i'd cop though not gonna lie to you state hooded sweatshirt supreme state ass this almost like deteriorated beat up ass hoodie is dropping too it's called the griffin zip up i'm trying to debate if i even like this or not bro the black or the cream for sure that camo gotta go it's literally beat bro like this hoodie looks homeless s logo with the horns on it get them out of here bro we good on that shit the grim 
Timberland hooded sweatshirt. Good on that shit. The half zip Milano pullover. This one comes in four different colors. All are mediocre. This is not my style, so I'd probably just move away from it skulls zip up hooded sweatshirt ass bruh the rhinestone we got on rhinestones bro like who really fucking with the what the fuck is this that shit says basura bro it's literally trash ass scattered logo nope who in their right mind is gonna put a beak on a fucking hoodie bro how do you even do this like how is this possible bro this one's actually kind of clean i like the fact that it has nothing on the front then you got that big ass supreme branding on the back almost looks like one of those jackets where it has a little spell out type shit Ooh, that minty color's clean too bro not gonna lie small box we only fuck with those this is the faux fur lined sweater great china wall actually not that bad all looks embroidered has a lot of different vibes to it we gonna have to see when it drops if i'm actually gonna go for it this shit literally says cream on it kind of am feeling this if it weren't for the cheetah print it almost has like a bunch of different panels on it from different hoodies or shit making up this one piece i like the fact that it's zip up to old navy ass hoodie we got the box logo crew neck this color is beautiful bro i don't have no box logo crew necks i feel like this would be the one for me not bad kind of like this color a lot that brown is beautiful green is still my favorite bro i like the blue some solid colors here too and if y'all could see on the gray it has a black box logo which does make it a little bit different brown the gray or the green for me are it y'all already know if i can't get those i'd probably just go with the black this fire zip up hoodie is fire no pun intended this shit is clean bro i'm fucking with this one it's almost like a police car burning down but it doesn't look too loud if that makes sense it almost looks like it's a tie-dye type vibe the underlying sweatshirt is ass good on on that we good on that shit what the hell is this bro miss me with that shit this looks like a thrifted ass sweater pillsbury doughboy sweater i kind of am fucking with this one in the brown color mainly good on this good on that it's a lot of hit or miss shit bro the face mask hoodie who needs that for real wind stopper gore-tex then we got the work vest which actually doesn't look that bad in that camo or the black i don't think i'd buy it though not gonna bullshit y'all bro there's way too much shit bro like i can't do this the rocket sweater box logo chin chan sweater nah all this shit is a nah the doughboy sweater basically has his recipes and shit the little knitted vibes a lot of knitted shit coming on you got the whole turtleneck sweater i'm not seeing shit that i like bro i'm not gonna lie the no love shit of phoenix mary's rhinestone like bro what all this shit is ass bro you got a whole demon sweater like what are y'all doing son nah that top section was never for me i don't think it will ever be for me there's the shirt section section which y'all know how i feel about this shit let's scope through in case y'all like anything and the last section is the jackets bro let's talk about these jackets then we're straight up out the building we got the 700 filled down gore-tex honestly this olive or the blue are my favorites for this one this is like a puffy jacket on some tnf vibe for the winter time i think it's pretty clean but when shit like this drops i normally never even go for it that's the crazy part this one drops in these four colors good on that you got the thrift store jacket this one is probably gonna come out for like $500 minimum. Great China sweater. They got a whole inspector gadget coat coming out. Let me know if y'all copping this shit. It looks like the jacket from Everybody Hates Chris when you open that shit and he's selling like everything you need inside that bitch. That's what this reminds me of. Script denim jacket straight on that shit. Gons is wild, bro. Like, why are you mocking this shit? I'm not really gonna say too much about it, but I'm on a specific journey now that I see things different than I used to in the past. So something like this probably Probably wouldn't have struck me as odd in the past but these days i'm like yo why is that even necessary like this design is terrible bro straight on that micro down half zip is decent this is the jeff hamilton jacket that we spoke about in that last video this is the angle that we saw on the jacket this is the front of the jacket i feel like it looks fire bro i want to see what that retail is going to be if it's true that it's going to be 15 000, they could keep this shit but if it's probably like four five hundred i think it'll be fire oh nah this shit gonna cost bread bro it comes in a fucking briefcase bag like what the fuck yeah nah it has a signed certificate bro 15 000. that's what it's looking like to me quilted jacket is ass the world famous jaguar jacket is ass fur coat collar shit is ass you got a leather blazer bro what nah 
Nah, nah. Yeah, these jackets are looking kind of mid to me, bruh. There's the Vanson jacket. They got a whole reversible evil ass jacket right here. Like, nah, son. Then we get to the two-in-one jacket. This one basically has a vest over this jacket. It looks fire, bro. I'm fucking with the vest. As a standalone piece, I'm fucking with the vest. The fact that you get a jacket with it, it's a banger, bro. Let me know if y'all are gonna be going for this. I feel like it's one of those items that I definitely would love to get my hands on. In that black color, it's beautiful. If not that camo let me know how y'all feeling about this piece there's the brushed twill jacket nothing too special the quilted leather work ass we good on that this layered denim jacket doesn't look too bad i feel like this one is one of those pieces that doesn't scream supreme but it looks like something special and that they took their time on kind of fucking with this denim jacket we got the glitter yoke bugging with the yoke bro we don't need no yoke the studded velour nah we good on that utility jacket this was supposed to drop last season never did they're bringing it this season i don't even care about this jacket no more the two-tone panel nah there's a bunch more shit that's just ass bro like this moleskin work jacket i really wonder like yo is that shit actually moleskin bro and what the is moleskin bro jaguar track jacket decent paneled half zip comes in like three four colors doughboy varsity this one comes in three colors this is probably my least favorite doughboy piece it's decent bro it's nothing too special michelin nest jacket i want to talk about this griffin anorak i don't know how i'm feeling about this bro it almost looks homeless but it almost looks like some top tier design skills kind of fucking with this jacket bro it looks like it's almost on its last thread but at the same time it's pleasing to the eye let me know if y'all fucking with this one i covered everything even though i always say that i'm not gonna cover everything that's exactly what i end up doing time and time again this is a long ass video i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to post this today it might drop tomorrow at the latest but it is what it is let me know if you guys ended up enjoying if you did please leave a like because this is gonna take some work from your boy subscribe to the channel if you're new and would enjoy more supreme or streetwear slash sneaker content more shit coming we're 80 away from 20k support and hey we gonna have a giveaway coming soon bro but with all that being said let me know what your five favorite items were in the comments for me it's probably the accessories bro i'm fucking with the accessories more than anything the box logo was pretty clean the pillsbury collection was pretty fire i'm fucking with the catwoman tee and the beanie there's some pretty clean things here and there but to be honest as a whole i don't know if this season is the best season once again i'm fucking with the accessories mainly not gonna lie but yeah let me know what's your favorite shit that's releasing and with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out